Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. So about two years ago, there was this big trend going around called What I Spend in a Week, where YouTubers would go and add up how much money they spend, make a video about it, and the people would either say, Ew, that's so much money, I can't believe we're wasting it. Or everyone would be like, oh my god, that's so awesome. Wow, you're, you're you know, a deity to be worshipped, because this video got over 100,000 views in two days from a YouTuber named Hannah Elise, titled, What I Spend in a Week as a 22-Year-Old Living in New York City. So with that said, guys, as soon as you subscribe and hit the like button, we'll begin watching this video, and I will give you my own thoughts as a personal finance enthusiast. Thank you guys so much. Now, with that said, let's begin. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. There's, there's no way. Oh my god. I feel like that's a joke because every single video starts off like that. They show the ending first, like, oh wow, and the total I spent is, and it's like, bleh, like this like, crazy music, and they're like, I can't believe I spent that much money. Wow, this is pretty eye opening. Maybe she's doing that as a joke, or it's a sign that she's spending more money than she thinks. What's up, you guys? It's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. What is that? What coffee is that? Hold up. Chamberlain coffee? What is that? Ew, gross. She should be drinking bankroll coffee now for sale at bankrollcoffee.com. And by the way, guys, heads up, we have to raise prices soon. I, I kid you not, the coffee prices have been going through the roof lately. They're up like 80% year over year. We can't sell our coffee at a loss anymore. So if you want to buy it right now before the prices go up, use the link down below in the description or go to bankrollcoffee.com. Seriously, like if, if you want to lock in a price now, now is time to do it. So get your coffee. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm going to be taking you through what I spend in a week living in New York City. I am a 22-year-old, full-time digital content creator, self-employed, work from home here in New York City. A lot of cuts there. It's like, imagine if you cut like every single sentence. That's a lot of cuts. Like, imagine what I would look like if you cut out every single pause when I'm talking over this video like this. And it's just kind of confusing to, at that point, just refilm it. You know, if you make a mistake, just be like, all right, you know, I'll say that again. Otherwise, it's like you're just jumping around the whole screen. I did have a couple things I wanted to preface this video with. I'm not doing this for any purpose other than purely. It's always weird, by the way, when you meet YouTubers like this in person and you're so used to listening to them, like cut, 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 and then you hear them in person, you're like, wait a second, there's, there's so much spacing in between your words. Wait a second, you don't actually sound like this. It's just something, uh, something interesting to point out. And I know that this won't apply to a vast majority of you guys watching, but if anyone is watching this video and you're thinking to yourself right now, let me go comment daddy's money. Oh, I just wanna go and comment daddy's money. Hold on, uh, daddy's money. Just because she said that, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna say that. I am 100% self-sufficient. That's not true. I'm still on my parents' health insurance, and I can be on my parents' health insurance till I'm 26. I'm only 22. I'm gonna be riding that bitch until I can't anymore. And if you have a problem with that, I don't give. A yeah, she may as well do that. I mean, that would be just a common sense. If you if you have the ability to save on your health insurance, which I pay $300 a month for nothing except it covers basically a catastrophic event that, that's gonna cost a ton of money that prevents me from going bankrupt. I mean, that that's all I pay $300 a month for. In fact, um, I'd probably get way more for that just paying for a life insurance policy. This would have been the perfect place to put a uh, life insurance sponsorship. We don't have that though, but yeah, health insurance is very expensive, so I don't blame her on that. I earned it. I just hate that I feel like I have to say that or give like an explanation. It's old. It's so boring. Just come up with something better. How about just ignore it? I don't know, because now you got the idea that people are thinking, wait a second, why does she need to explain it? I've always realized that stuff like that, sometimes it's better just Ignore it, don't even address it, just pretend like it doesn't even exist, and eventually, it'll go away. I haven't spent any money today. I just had a really nice, lazy, cozy Sunday in. However, I did receive my HelloFresh box today, and I guess that's kind of gonna count as my groceries for the week. Oh, that's cheating. You can't do a HelloFresh sponsorship, and, and they send you like a few days worth of food, and you're like, all right, there we go. This is not sponsored, by the way. I bought HelloFresh like on my own. Oh, I completely take that back, Jack. I don't. I don't know if you're gonna be editing this that part out, but you know what? I take that back. I admit I was wrong. I thought she did a sponsorship. She paid for it. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I am about to head out to the gym right now. The gym is a monthly recurring subscription type of thing. But wow, she cuts every single breath, every pause. Just imagine. Imagine if we edited 
See, it's hard for me to talk like this because I don't know how we would edit around all the pauses. It's a lot. It costs me $8.75 a week to go to the gym, which... I wonder how much time she saves by just cutting out all the pauses. This could have been a 30 minute video and she just saved us seven minutes. We don't know. I found this one and it's about $35-ish a month, so... That's my gym expense for the week. That's really cheap for New York, because I'm thinking like Equinox pricing. You're spending like $350 a month for like an Equinox. That's the equivalent of a car payment. Like, would you rather lift weights or, or would you rather have a car? So that's Equinox. But listen, for her, perfect. After I left the gym, I actually ended up stopping at Target because there were a few things that I wanted to get. Oh, Target, Target. That, they, they're the ultimate takers of money. You walk into Target, guaranteed you'll find at least five things that you have to buy. Always. And uh, you know what? They're a good deal. I like Target. You know what? What's their Target stock like? Target stock. They're down 7% year to date. <sighs> I like Target, guys. Target's only getting trendier. It could be a decent investment. Gosh, I, I'm a fan of Target. All right. I'm gonna consider this one. My last. You also know it's a good sign when you see targets opening up, like you see more stores opening up. That's bullish. There were things that I had been meaning to buy for a while and things that I needed new ones of type of thing. I was like, well, I guess since I'm there, I might as well just, you know, grab all of this. Ah, oh, see, I told you. that That's why Target's stock price uh, last five years up to 138%. That's why. It's because every time you go in, just like, like what happened to her, into buying a whole bunch of other stuff. Trash bags, a couple other small things. The main thing that was like the most expensive were the razor, which is $15. $15 for a razor, gosh. You know what? Uh, she needs to load these up with sponsors. Like she could do Dollar Shave Club. She could do Harry's, uh, you know, HelloFresh for her food. I mean, everything she could just get taken care of for free at this point. I am trying to finish my apartment sometime this fall. Decade. I want to have my apartment tore up sometime this year. I moved in the beginning of October. It is now mid-January. Ooh, an apartment tour. I love those. Those get so many views. If she does an apartment tour, all you got to do, subscribe and, and like this video, and I'll do it. Whenever she posts, I'll have notifications turned on. So I'll be, I'll be really quick to it, guys. Subscribe and like. And get bankroll coffee. And then you know what? Since we don't have a sponsor, go and sign up for the Hungry Bull app down below in the description. It's an app I've been working on with a, a good friend, Jeremy Financial Education, and uh, it's a great place. We've got a daily newsletter on there. So if you guys are interested, the link is down below in the description. It's not sponsored, but you know what? I'm gonna mention it here anyway, because it's a good app, and I like it. The first thing that I bought this morning was actually not for my apartment. I just got a new bag of the coffee that I like. I order it from Chamberlain Coffee. I get this. Oh, come on, that's so expensive. What is that? Oh, let's see, Chamberlain Coffee. Let's see how expensive this coffee is. $16, oh, wow. And uh, $5 shipping, so you're buying one bag of coffee for $21. And I think it was originally $16 for the bag and then shipping is $5. Jeez, I gotta stop commenting. She literally just said that. Man, I'm doing all this work and she just answers it. But I actually found a honey coupon. Sorry, honey found the coupon for me. I saved $5, so I actually got the whole thing, the bag and the shipping for only $16 instead of it being 21. That's not bad. It's not terrible uh, with the $5 off. Uh, with, with shipping. It, it's expensive, but it's, yeah, $16 shipped? Okay, I'll give you that. I found a nice plant situation. Looks like it'll be pretty. Ooh, Target's got some good options for that. That's the thing. Amazon uh, is beginning now to charge more because of convenience. I hate to say it, Amazon was fantastic. I bought everything on Amazon, but then I started realizing, Wait a second, wait a second. There's so many resellers on Amazon that are buying the same thing elsewhere and then they're upcharging you like 10 to $20. If you just do a little bit of searching, you could usually find it somewhere else and almost everywhere now has free two day shipping. So just a, a quick tidbit, whatever you wanna buy on Amazon, just search for it somewhere else and see if you can find it cheaper. I got one from Etsy. That ended up being $14.87 for the pot itself. Shipping ended up being $8 and then tax was $2. So I ended up paying $24.90 for like a really small pot. The fifth grader in me would be like, <laughs> she bought pot, <laughs> but it's a pot. Get it? I'm back, not even 30 minutes later, I ordered something else. This, oh, look at the kitty. Oh, Ramsey has a very similar cat tree like that. 
He loves it. We put it right next to the window and he just sits there for hours. Sometimes for the entire day, he'll just be there looking out the window, watching the birds. Her new food came in and I put some in a bowl for her and I put it down because she acted like she wanted- Oh, Ramsey did the same thing. They always love to go up to the camera, sniff it and just lay right down. First place I went was 7-Eleven and I bought this liter of ginger ale for making dirty Shirley's. This bottle was $2.99. Two dollars and 99 cents for that, wow. That's a lot. I would expect I would go to the, the 99 cent store and pay $1.25 for it because inflation and, and they've raised the prices now. So $1.25. I actually found the perfect black jean jacket. This is so amazing. It was $15. I'm so- uh, Wait a second. Wasn't that the one she's wearing in the beginning of the video? Yeah, she was. Wow. Okay. It looks good. I said it was my favorite type of sweatshirt. This is a champion reverse weave. If you've been watching me, you know how much I love champion reverse weave crew next. I have four. No idea what that is. I've never heard of that before. Hi, it's Friday. Yeah, I skipped Thursday. Sorry about that. But the only thing that I bought on Thursday, aka yesterday, was toilet paper and a lot of it. Actually ended up buying the toilet paper on Amazon because it had one day shipping. Man, if this were March of 2020, everyone would be like, wow, you found toilet paper. Oh wow, that's so cool. Now it's worth more money. You could resell that. Today, nobody cares. Some may say that that is really lazy. And I don't disagree with that statement. I don't disagree with that statement. Cutting all the time. It's hard to pay attention to the cuts in the video. I did in fact order a coffee and some lunch. This coffee that I got was a salty maple latte. I'm still drinking it. It's super good. That was $6.50. Wow, $6.50. Jeez, she could have got uh, almost an entire bag of coffee at bankrollcoffee.com. Jeez. For this size cup, I got it iced, which made it an extra 50 cents, and then oat milk is an extra 50 cents. That's crazy that iced makes it more. Now, I get that they have to refrigerate it and it takes a little bit longer, fine, but the fact that like putting the same drink over ice costs more, you know what I've always done? If I ever order a coffee, I get a normal coffee. It's cheap, it's like a dollar. And then I say, can I get a cup of ice? And everyone's like, oh yeah, you can get a cup of ice, it's free. Then I take my coffee, pour it over the ice, get a little creamer on the side, which is also free, and now you have an iced coffee. For the cost of a normal coffee, it's like 75% off at that point. So that's what I do. Total, I spent $67.59 at Target. My subtotal was $62.69. She's gotta stay away from Target. That's that's where she's going into debt at this point. It's just like, hey guys, went to Target again today. Came back with a, a mountain of stuff, but uh, it's okay, because I returned a picture frame. So it's not as bad as you would think. And I used my points and got $7 off. Seriously, Target is doing such good business. I love Target. And then the last thing that I got, which is like the one thing that I initially needed that inspired this entire trip was printer paper. 500 sheets and it was $6.29. Printer paper, wow. What a blast from the past. When's the last time you used printer paper? Man, what do you need to print out these days? It's rare that I ever need to use a printer. And if you do, it's like, oh man, like that, that company's so outdated because you have to print something and sign it. Like, DocuSign, come on. We have now come to the end of this week and it's time to tally up our spending total. I wrote- You know what, she should have been wearing that champion uh, thing underneath that. I don't know if that would have looked good with the outfit, but uh, just for the sake of this, she should have all the stuff she bought in the background. I spent $30, that was for the whole week for my dinner. So moving on, Monday, I spent $80.75. That includes the $8.75 that I spent for the whole week for the gym. I like how she breaks this down as like a receipt. I like this a lot over the paper. That's very cool. My total for the week was $444.30. It's not terrible. It's not that bad, especially because a lot of those are one-time purchases for her apartment. So if you take that out, the, the big target trips, it's, it's not awful. I wanted to throw in a few special expenses that I incur every week just to live here. I'm calling these the cost of living in New York City expenses. Finally, someone doing this. Everyone discounts the cost of like, oh, they pretend like rent doesn't exist or car payments, all these like other charges. They just are like, oh yeah, no, I didn't spend that this week. Let's see what the total is, the real total. I have never said my rent on this channel because quite frankly, I'm embarrassed 
to say it. My guess is probably going to be twenty six to twenty eight hundred dollars a month. My guess, I'm going to say, I'm going to lock it in now, twenty seven hundred dollars. Let's see, and I bet it's a studio or a one bedroom. New York, twenty seven. That's my guess. Twenty seven fifty. How's that? I'm going to start with internet and gas and electric because those aren't as exciting. My internet costs me a. About $15 a week, which is fair. That's good. Not a bad price. $15 a week. I approve. So my rent. <laughs> I paid approximately around $730 this week and every week to live in this apartment. Oh yeah. Okay. So $730 times four, $29.20. So she's paying about $3,000 a month. I wasn't off. $27.50. You know what? She's probably in a good area of New York City. She's probably, uh, you know, walking distance to a lot of stuff. That's about right. That, that, that's about what you spend for living in New York. But you know what? I would say with uh, 710,000 subscribers, she's probably pulling in not less than 100 grand a year. I, I would say at least, at least 100 grand a year. She, she has to be with sponsorships, with ad rates. She's getting decent views. 100 grand a year. So she could afford it. If you add internet, gas, and electric, and rent to the other total that I gave you guys for the week, that comes to 1200 and five dollars and thirty cents that I spent for this entire week of living here. All right, so fifteen hundred dollars a week. She's spending fifty-two weeks, so she's spending seventy-eight thousand dollars a year. Because there's always going to be some some other stuff. So yeah, I would say she's probably for this. She's probably got to be making about one fifty. But you know what? This only matters in relation to how much she's actually making. Is this? 30% of her income, 50%, 80%, how much is invested? That is what we need to know. Now, I will say this. I have a separate account, a savings account set up for rent, internet, and gas and electric that I put money into before I even moved here. Oh yeah, she's in Manhattan. That's why, that's why her rent is so much. That's like one of the best areas to live in. That's a look into how much I spend in a week as a 22 year old living in Manhattan, New York. I wanna end this video by saying thank you to everyone who watches my videos. All right, so overall, it's pretty good. I wanna see how much money she makes though. I think, Hannah, if you're watching this, I'd say maybe the 50-50 chance you'd see this. If you are watching this, I think a, how much I make in a week video would do so well, or how much I make in a month. If you guys like that idea, hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.